What's up? My name's Colm and this is my raw vegan story, which started a few months ago. Uh, it's been it's had its ups and downs. It's over and out, uh, but that's life. <laughs> and I think it started just because I was enjoying mangoes that much, uh, which I'm eating now. And uh, I was watching the, the channel Sweet Natural Living, and he really inspired us. And um, all of a sudden it was like, I was eating fruit so much and then it would get to like 7 o'clock when I would usually have a, a cooked meal, you know, pasta or whatever. And then I realised, you know, I'd save on washing up if I just continue eating fruit. So I'd have another meal of fruit and that would be it. And it just kind of, without even realising, I didn't plan to go raw vegan. Um, so you could say it was just because of the washing up, <laughs> but uh, really it was, it's because of fruit is the natural like fast food. It's not only you pick it off the tree, or ideally, and then you eat it straight away. It's easy to open, um, digests really fast, so you get the energy straight away, which is what you want. You want to feel good straight away. It satisfies your sweet tooth and uh, everything else, like the the density and volume as well. Um, so basically, if you like to eat, then it's a good thing. Um, it also helps you transcend uh, because it allows the body to rest, whereas uh, starch is very hard to digest. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much why I started. Uh, now and again, I've tried cooked food and it, it, it's like very addicting the next few days as you kind of detox. And um, detox really isn't a thing, it's just, it's just, where you haven't got any focus on any particular thing, so you feel kind of lost, and that's the feeling. Everything else still just happens naturally, and uh, but yeah, in the mind, detox isn't a thing. It's like nothing. It's like imagine you've got the camera focusing on, you know, a mango or something, or me, and then. Rather than having it focused on, you know, what I was used, used to be addicted to was trek bars and all these processed foods. So, if the camera, imagine, has to pan from this addictive food over to this healthy lifestyle that you want to envision yourself in, um, in between, this kind of the camera is not focused on anything. So that's how I kind of see it, and. Uh, yeah, my energy's been better. It's it's more like a a good feeling of energy as well, rather than like um, stimulant, which can be kind of like a frustrating energy. Um, obviously, I'm still missing things like sunshine because I live in the UK. You know, I'm, I've got the food down as a, you know optimal human food, which fruit is. Um, yeah, at times when I've slipped up, it's because it, you get this overwhelming cultural indoctrination. Uh, you feel sort of like this is fake freedom, you know, because I'm not actually living in the tropics where this belongs. Um, but you've just got to remain focused on what what your dreams are, what you want. Uh, it's like there's a rubber band holding you focus and you, you just got to unhook the rubber band um, I'm not sure if that makes sense but uh, <laughs> you, you've got the the main like important factors in life uh, fruit for fuel sleep for energy air is just free I mean when you're in troubled times and you can't afford something just remember 
Air is free. Many things are free, in fact. Uh, and it's when you s stop allowing other people to control you, uh, fasting is one technique. Because you, you take away the industry's ability to control you with addiction and things. Which the industry has some really uh, powerful techniques they'll use, like McDonald's have this repetitious sign of the, the letter M, and it's all about programming people to to habitually eat rather than to you know notice when fruits ripe and things like that. Uh, poise is another thing mental poise and connecting to your divinity because like I, I feel for all the vegan activists who have to go through trauma and stuff and I've, I have too but if we're gonna live our entire lives it makes sense to have some uh, strength and health in your life to to help it along. Okay, so some other factors in life are water, because it's like it's like the soul. It's the most fluent energy form, apart from air. And then you've got sugar, which is like sweetness. Uh, you say life is sweet, don't you? You don't say life is savory, because although starch is very nice. It's not nice on its own, in its natural state, you'll have it with ketchup or something. Uh, I know all this all too well. <laughs> and you've got fibre, which is like substance. This is what slows down the absorption of sugar. It's like running at a steady pace, or when you've got most energy. It all ties in, and you wonder why does it tie in, and... Uh, that's just really the mystery of life, you know. Um, I'm also inspired by like Jesus and people like that who were Essenes, Essene Pythagoreans. This is where veganism started and natural hygiene. Uh, hygiene because like when it's got a skin, carrots don't have a fruit is usually protected and it's very hygienic. Uh, so yeah, Jesus, um, brother, he's a vegan. You know, Jesus, Jesus is like I sus, which like the sus part of his name means, oh, again, I'll just edit this out. <laughs> but anyway, that's my vegan story. Uh, I never did the washing up, by the way. I ended up just throwing it out into the bin. Never really used plates again. That would be in a pottery or something in the future for someone. And they'll discover why I went raw vegan or tr trying to. And I'll finish with a a poem I quickly wrote because I like to wonder and I wonder all the time I wonder how Jesus turned water into wine I don't care if these lyrics make sense the only reason I'm singing is to give you my two cents I wonder if humans can sleep standing on two feet or if the two are related in any way like brothers or two sheep. <laughs> okay, see you later. Till next time. I've got a, a good video coming out soon which is going to be exposing lots of truth and uh, things like that. <laughs>